course owners and equestrians, there is a lot of talk going on right now about EHB. Here's what it actually is. I'm Jackie, I've got over 30 years in the horse industry, and I wanna break this down in a way that is simple and not scary, just the facts. EHB stands for equine herpivirus. There are several strains, but the one causing issue right now is EHB-1. EHB is a contagious virus that affects a horse's respiratory system. In some cases, EHB-1 can affect the neurological system as well. Most horses are exposed to EHB at a very early time in life and carry it silently, but stress like hauling, showing, or weather changes can reactivate it. How does it spread? It spreads through nose-to-nose -nose contact in horses. If they're sharing a water bucket, grooming tools can be spread that way. Humans can carry it on their hands or their clothing. If you touch one horse that's affected and then go and touch another one that's not affected, you can pass it on that way. Contaminated surfaces such as stalls, trailers, arena, walls, anything your horse is coming in contact with, if another horse touches it after them and they're the affected one, they can spread it that way. Why does this matter? The respiratory spreads real easily. The neurological form can be very serious and detrimental to your horse, but early detection and smart barn management can help control the outbreaks. Watch for part two where I'll walk you through the exact symptoms to look for.